Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. In this video, I would like to show you on how to sketch logarithmic functions. So um, let's get started. So uh, basically, the general form, if it's if you can get if you can uh, rearrange the log function into this form, okay, as the one as I highlighted in yellow, so we can easily sketch mm -hmm. them. Okay, so. But first thing first, we need to know a unique fact about logarithmic function and exponential for that matter is that logarithmic function has a vertical asymptote. Okay. Now, maybe for those of you who haven't heard what asymptote means, asymptote is simply, is simply a line. <coughs> excuse me, it's simply a line, okay, usually dashed, okay, usually dashed line, whereby, whereby the function, okay, is getting closer, but never touch, okay, Usually, we have two kinds of asymptote, okay, for your level, it's uh, vertical and horizontal, okay, but if you go uh, way further uh, to the higher level in university, you might see uh, another kind of asymptote, yeah, so asymptote is just a line dash, whereby, uh, usually a dash line, whereby the fx is getting closer but never touch. The a simple example for you guys is uh, when back in high school, you've seen this uh, function, yeah. Let fx be 1 over x. So, in, in your reference book, you might see the function is like this, right? Okay, like that. Okay, now, for this function, one, for 1 over x, there are two asymptotes, okay? Vertical and horizontal. So, vertical asymptote is this one. It's x equal 0. Okay, pardon my sketching. Seems that it's it touching, eh? Okay. Now it doesn't. So that is the vertical asymptote. And the other one is this one. Y equals 0. So this is the horizontal for the same function. Now, if we see closer and we zoom the function, the, the green one is the function fx, 1 over x. Okay, 1 over x. This is 1 over x. So this is what I meant by the green line of 1 over x is getting closer to the uh, dash line, the orange dash line, but never touch, okay? Same goes for this one, the horizontal asymptote and with the function, the green line. They are getting closer, but never touch. Same goes on this side, okay, towards uh, negative infinity over there, okay? And also this side. Uh, so, those two lines are asymptotes, yeah? Vertical and horizontal. Okay, so I just uh, rub them off. Okay, because I want to use this space for something else. Okay, now I introduce you about asymptote already, and and I want to because I want to show you how important uh, vertical asymptote for logarithmic function. So the first step of uh, finding vertical asymptote is that we need to find the vertical asymptote. So I spell it. Out. Out already over here maybe I can use shortcut okay how to find the vertical asymptote okay simple we take everything in the bracket of logarithm okay and then we equal to 1 and then we get the value of x okay because why because if we have asymptote uh, x equals 0 okay for a general function for log is like this. First it get closer and then it's getting far away from the asymptote. So this is the function for log x. Okay. For the other one, so it's I it's uh it's for log x is going upwards to the right. Okay. Same goes to this one, it's going up but towards to the left. Oh my god. Maybe I do it again. Nice. Oh, even worse. Mm hmm. Yes. Mm. Well, 
that's better so this one is the example for log minus x okay so so as you can see these one are going up to the left and this one is going up to the right okay so um the other two is from top they are close but they are getting further away and they're going to the bottom so this is the example for log sorry no this is log x negative log x okay and last but not least this one from top getting closer but getting far away as soon as the line going downwards so this is minus log minus x okay so i show you the basic uh, four shapes of logarithm okay please notice the yellow are yellow the brown sorry the brown dash line or the asymptote here differentiate these two curve that on the right hand side and these two curve which is on the left hand side of the asymptote okay so i'm going to rub this all off okay uh, if you think it's quite fast to to see if you want to see the basic for graph again you might uh, want to pause the video yeah okay so first we find the vertical now as you can see just now when we already know where the vertical asymptote is it's easier for us to decide which one on the right hand side or which one on the left hand side that way we already uh, cut down the probability of getting correct curve by half yeah so let's proceed now now we know the vertical asymptote we want to know which curve whether it's the right hand side of the uh, asymptote or the left hand side of the curve it's easy where to look we look okay look at um uh, look at no okay look at the coefficient of x in x plus b in the bracket lah this one okay so if greater than zero then we are taking the right hand side curve okay it means that the possible the curve must be on the right hand side of the mm -hmm. uh, maybe i need to rephrase the curve must be on right hand side okay of the vertical asymptote okay maybe i move this away as a second line yes but if less than zero the possible curve must be okay must be on the left hand side of the Mm, vertical asymptote okay that's fine you you just um uh just bear with me okay then we got going through the next one eh? okay now after we know whether okay so we have uh asymptote here right so when we know it's on the right hand side so the possible ones is this one okay or this one okay now we want to choose which uh, which one it's either going up or going down so that's easy and we can go to the third step which is look at the value of a a here okay coefficient of the log lah okay if greater than zero the curve goes up okay if less than zero the curve is the one the, the one goes down okay now maybe you it's it's too much for you to uh, digest i guess okay that's fine Tapa. we try one example and we do it together yeah so we have uh, okay sorry fx okay log x minus 3 okay now first step what we are going to do find the vertical asymptote now find vertical asymptote vertical asymptote simple x minus 3 equals 0 x is 3 so 
I draw it here, yeah. Sketch it here, yeah. So x, y. So where is x equals three? Okay, somewhere here. Okay, this is three, x three. Yes. Okay. Now, so we already know the boundary. So we want to know next. We want to know whether it's on this side or on this side. Yeah. On the right hand side of the asymptote or the left hand side of the asymptote. So we can do that by uh, we can know that by doing the second step. We look at the coefficient of x inside the bracket. See? X. So what is the coefficient? The coefficient is 1. Okay? 1 is greater than 0. So the curves must be the possible curve must be on the right hand side of the asymptote somewhere over here it must not be over here so if we if you do step number two correctly then you should know the the function is not going to be something like this it's not possible okay if you if you want to make mistake at least you put on the right hand side maybe this one is wrong i don't know okay but at least the curve is on the right hand side of the asymptote over here Okay, now, we already know it's the right hand side, so should be over here, right? Okay, next step, look where? Look the A. Where A? A is 1. Okay, over here, in front of log, it's nothing, but actually it's something, it's 1. Eh? So, A is 1, which is greater than 0, therefore, the curve is going up. Okay, so how we're going to have a curve on the right hand side over here but at the same time is going to the going up so it's we start from here close to the asymptote and then as soon as going up we have to make it tend to the right so this is our fx okay and also don't forget the fourth step i forgot to put it down there we find x intercept Okay, intercept. X intercept happens when y equals 0. For logarithmic, we find x intercept. For exponent, we find y intercept. Okay, now um, it's easy. Just take or uh, just let y or fx 0. So 0 equals log x minus 3. And then this one basically 10 to the power of 0 equals x minus 3. And then we have 1, x minus 3, x is, eh, berapa tu? Uh, 2 lah, eh, 4. x is 4. So, our x intercept here is a 4. Okay, so, we already sketched them, we put um, vertical asymptote, we name the function, we put the intersect, and then, that's how we do it. Okay, thank you for your time and attention. Uh, Assalamualaikum, eh, wait. Do we have another example? Oh, yes. Oh, sorry about that. Maybe we do two more examples eh, to uh, compare. Eh? So, the next one is fx uh, minus 2 log mm -hmm, x plus 2. Okay. Now, first step, we want to know the vertical eh, asymptote. Easy. x plus 2 equals 0 x minus 2. Okay. So, I put it here. Eh? Okay, x minus 2. Where is x minus 2? Somewhere here. Okay, just claim it like that. Eh? Don't worry. Easy also. Okay, now. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Okay, next, we want to know whether the curves are on the right-hand side of the uh, vertical asymptote or on the left-hand side of the vertical asymptote. Okay, I forgot to label the axis. Okay, now. So, how to do that? We look at the coefficient of x. So, the coefficient of x, coefficient of x, okay, is 1, okay? Since 1 uh, greater than 0, so the curves are on the right-hand side of vertical asymptote. So, it's either this one or this one. But we do not know yet. Okay. So, we proceed to number 3. 
Number three determines whether the curve is going up or going down by looking the coefficient of logarithm. So the coefficient of logarithm, which is minus two, is less than zero. So the curve is going down. Yeah. So the one is going down is this one. Okay. So we can rub this one off. So this is our function. But now you can see this one, right? Okay. Now we have intersection. Okay. We have y intersect and uh, sorry, we have x intersect and y intersect. So um, maybe the curve, the log function, something like this going through origin or maybe it's going like this. So the difference is that um the uh, the x uh, the x intersect or maybe y lah. okay this one uh, x intersect is zero this no the first one is positive the second one is zero and the third one is negative okay so for this one it's easier for us to find the uh, y intersect yes to find y intersect for this condition only, yeah. Otherwise, it's easier for us to find x intercept. So y intercept is when x is zero. So y equals minus two log zero two log two is positive. Eh no, log is negative number. Eh no, oh positive number. Multiply by minus two. Something negative lah. Okay, it's a negative. 0 0.602 okay so negative is uh, y negative is somewhere here okay somewhere here so we can reject the first curve and the second curve okay so this is the value minus 0 0.602 and this is our function okay now Next, okay, next is another example, fx, yeah, it's zooming out, okay, fx mm -hmm. equals 4 log minus 3 minus x plus 4, okay, so for this one, first step, okay, find vertical asymptote, okay, easy minus 3 minus x equals 0, so x is? Minus 3. Correct. Ah, correct. Okay. Now we know it's minus 3. Maybe I... Okay. Now, the axis over here. Okay. This is Y. This is X. Now, where is the axis? Minus 3 over here. Okay. Wait. Did I just make a mistake back here? I know I don't. Okay, good. So this is minus three. Okay, what else? Um, okay, we want to know whether the curves are on the right hand side or the left hand, uh, left hand side. So in order to do that, we look at the coefficient of x inside the bracket. So coefficient of x is minus one, which is less than zero. So the curve are on the left hand side so it's either this one or this one okay but we do not know whether the curve is going up or going down so let's find the coefficient of log in front of here so it's four isn't it coefficient of log is four which is greater than zero so the curve is going up so the one that we want is this one okay so i can uh, maybe i do it again with different color purple maybe so at first it's closer and then getting far away further away from the uh asymptote so this is our function of fx now we want to find the intersect uh, intersection point over there so let's find that one is clearly x intercept okay for this uh for this um, 
situation, the Y intersect does not exist. Because as you can see, the purple line, if we extend them, no matter what we do, it won't reach this axis. Okay? So, X intercept is when Y equals 0. So, 0 equals fall. Oh, why? I cannot scroll. Okay. 4 log X. Oh, sorry. Minus 3 minus X plus 4. So, minus 4, 4 log minus 3 minus X. Okay. And then I have minus 1. Okay, minus 1 equals log minus 3 minus x. And then we change it into index form. We have 0 are uh, 10. 10 to the power of minus 1. Minus 3 minus x. Therefore, x is minus 3 minus uh, 10 to the power of minus 1, which is 1 over 10, I guess. Minus 3 minus uh, 1 over 10. So we have minus 3.1. Okay, minus 3.1. So minus 3.1. So that the value of the intersection is minus 3.1. So maybe I write the label it over here. And I label this one minus 3.1. Okay. So that's the that's how you sketch. Um Logarithmic function. Thank you for your time and attention. Assalamualaikum and have a good day.